morning, everyone, and welcome back to uh, Damper Glen Farm in, of course, Stardew Valley, where last night we didn't have quite enough time to place down the rug in a place that I would uh, be particularly happy with. Um, there's so many options for this. I kind of like having the rug... Well, in, in real life, I like my my uh, rugs on the sides of the bed because then when you're getting out of bed and you, you make your tootsies, uh, it can, can scrunch up in the fibres of the rug. Uh, however, it's also kind of nice to have a rug as it's one of the first things you see when you come into a house, in my opinion. Uh, I'm a very big fan of having a table in the kitchen, though. But this does mean that we no longer have a uh, table to sit by while watching uh, the television, which is a bit of a problem, but that should be okay for now. I think uh, we're also going to move the television a little bit further across. Uh, there is a bunch of things that I would like to do with the house right now, but we're going to be getting to that in the future. Now, that catfish is not going to be staying there. No, 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 no. That catfish is not allowed there. Periwinkle and snail absolutely can live in there, though. Um... I'm not going to want the mountain totem. Oh, we're going to pop that there. I do need to make another keg. I need some meat. Oh, we've got many, many things that we need to do today. So many things. Oh, actually, we've got two catfish in there already. Hmm. Well, the catfish is such an expensive fish. I, I'd, I'd rather actually keep hold of that. But now that we are a little bit more caught up with everything that we need to do. Oh, my Lord. Uh, we're starting to get uh, on top of things. We've got many, many things that uh, we can work on today if we decide to. I really like this music track, though. Wow. Bada da, Yoko. There we go. Uh, how are we doing down here? That should still be getting us plenty of nice honey. Loads of people commented. This is actually Turnip Head from Howl's Moving Castle. You know what? I, uh, oh, uh, sorry for watering you there. I completely forgot Turnip Head's color scheme. I, I, I have seen Howl's Moving Castle, but if you had asked me Prior to everyone telling me that, that that is meant to be turnip head, I would have said the turnip head had more of an earthy um, color scheme going on, more more red, uh, sort of like oranges and, and and browns, kind of the kind of the browns that are almost green, you know. Also, it was pointed out to me that is what has been causing me problems. Of course, uh, silly silly app. Oh, I just get sad. Huh. I'm not I'm not disappointed. I'm just surprised. Okay, well, fair enough. Uh, all right, well, uh, let's uh, head back into the bats. See see how our bat friends are doing. They've given us a, a black weed. Thank you very much. Okay, very well. Uh, let's go and say... Oh. I, I'm i also on board with this, though it brings me back sad memories of, of Grandpa's last last days. Oh. Uh, but Grandpa seemed, seemed, seemed ready to go. Seemed happy about it. I'm not happy about the, the end, but but happy with a life lived to its fullest. Uh, let's see, where where are you? And yes, this is part of what I like about having chickens, okay? <laughs> is letting them go outside. It, it may be a little bit more inconvenient for me. Maybe I could just leave them in the coop. But no, I like them being able to just go out and wander. I will, I will find them all. It'll take me a little bit more time, yes. Is it is it perfectly efficient? No. But what is perfectly efficient about the way I play this game? I don't play Stardew for efficiency. I don't even play Factorio for efficiency. And if I don't play Factorio for efficiency, what hope is there that I'll play Stardew for efficiency? My lord. Wrong, wrong, uh, wrong creator, if that's what you're looking for. There we go. Uh, there we are. Well, okay, we're, we're missing one of you. Where are you? Hidden behind you? No. Hmm. This is an interesting game of hide and seek. I will have to double check in a little bit. But, ah, uh, so many eggs. Any of them super high quality? No, actually. Interesting. Uh, oh, actually, maybe. Maybe they are all particularly high quality. They're all gold at the very least. And yes, that, 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 uh, that mistake with the iridium. <laughs> the iridium egg. Ooh, that will uh, that will hang over me for a while. Uh, but okay, well, uh, let's continue on about our work around the farm. Uh, I want to clear up quite a few of the trees. We need to decide on a place for a fish pond. That is going to be extremely important for us. Extremely important, I say. Mm -hmm. Hello, Bubbles. Mm. Where is the last of you? Down here, perhaps? Look in the tall grasses. 
Chicken's getting back to their raptor heritage. Oh, yes, a purple mushroom. Today is already going well. Ah, oh, these are good times. Very good times, in fact. Now, I do need to... Oh, wait, it's Wednesday. Not not getting my seeds today, then, I don't believe. Uh, okay, well, uh, it's, either, it's either Wednesday or Tuesday that the... The shop isn't open. I, I do forget, actually. I uh, always seem to get them mixed up. There we are. Let's take care of you. Little bit of work around the farm. Now, I do believe it's going to be Marnie's birthday on the morrow. Now, my initial plan was to go and purchase some cooking ingredients. I know that Marnie is partial to melon cake, so I was going to go and grab some uh, some ingredients so I could cook her, her favorite cake. But... That plan may be scuppered. Uh, I may have to consider a different option. Hmm. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. So so soon. So close. Soon we will have tea made from our own tea plants. Oh, it's going to be grand old time, that will. Right, I need to uh, fill up my watering can. Punk. There we go. Uh, I feel full of energy today. There we are. I will harvest one. Water. Let's just get everything watered. I'm, I'm, I'm still feeling horribly bad about the fact that I uh, failed to water all of the plants last time. Uh, uh, you know, these things will happen every now and then. Let's just try and make sure that they don't happen very often. And, and I think we can we can, we can can move past of this, uh, this mistake. But there we go. There we go. And there as well. Now I need to find some other um, produce as well. We've got quite a lot of things we want to do. Uh, so many, many things. Uh, copper bar, iron bar, oak resin. Do we have these things? Uh, no, no, we do not. Much sadness, but uh, okay. Uh, however, we can drop off the pine cones, the sap, uh, the trash, of course, needs to go in the recycler. Oh, I'm so glad to have the recycling machines. I really am. I really do want to get a worm bin, though. That's going to be a biggie. Uh, we've got some very nice eggplants here. Wow, okay. Uh, hmm. I guess we're just going to sell those and keep these. We'll pop those into the fridge, I think. And it's for the time being. Drop off the uh, blackberries. Actually, you know what? We are going to just straight up sell these. I don't really need them. Uh, furthermore, yes, time for the starfruit to be processed into seeds. That we can then plant uh, another time. There we go. And let's have a look. Tonk, tonk, and tonk. Perfect. All done. Sorted. Uh, what else would I like to uh, get seeds of right now? Actually, I kind of want a, some strawberry seeds. Actually, I want a lot of strawberry seeds. Let's let's get them on the go. Pumpkins, of course, we're going to be keeping those around. Um, oh, oh, we need to drop those off, apparently. Hmm. What do we need? We need the sweet jam berry. We haven't got that one yet. I need mead. I need juice. Green tea. And we're sorted. That should all be uh, something I can take care of. Now this, a little bit less. So we're going to have to work hard to get that all sorted, I fear. But we'll get there. We will get there. How much stone do I have? Uh, we may actually have... Well, no. I think we need more stone than that to be able to get everything on the go. Uh, we'll, we'll get there, though. Right, let's drop off uh, these. Um, oh, I've got glasses to put into the recycler as well. Okay, uh, I think that's about all we need to do there. I can happily make some more sashimi, though. There we go. There's no reason not to be carrying this around. It's so easy to get. We can make it with uh, very, very little effort. And I almost forgot. We started the day... Well, I mean, I'm not going to say it the wrong way. It's a different way. <laughs> but we almost missed out on the weather report. Let's check what it's going to be like for Marnie's birthday. It's going to be a bit windy. That's fine. And, Welwick, how are you doing? It was very nice to meet you in the flesh. The spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. Oh. Well, that's uh, it's unfortunate, but okay. Uh, let's go ahead and pop these in there. There we go. And... A little bit of coal, a little bit of stone. I do do appreciate the stone, to be fair. Uh, okay, well, let's drop that off. Oh, no, there we go. Nye and Bart, look at you hiding over here, you scoundrel. Uh, right, well, we may actually have everything we need then. Uh, oak resin, copper bar, bunch of wood. Yes, yes, we do. Oh, that is fantastic. 
I'm extremely happy about this. It will not take long to produce the mead that we want. I don't believe. Uh, at least. Oh, actually. Hmm. Will this will this be like wine, or and juice, or will it be like tea and coffee? Actually, I'm, I'm, I can't remember if uh, if the ales take a long time to process in that way or not. And we want more strawberries. Clunk. There we go. Right. Okay, well, I think we've got a, a few things that we can go and do now. And I will sell the salmon berry. Uh, I think we'll we'll take this directly to Pierre. And if we're lucky, he will be able to buy it. If we're not, well, actually, it's 4 p.m., so <laughs> we might not be doing that anyway. Maybe a day for a bit of fishing, you know? It's been a little while. It's been, been quite a while, actually. Now, as far as I'm aware... If my memory serves, I think it was something like 5,000 we're going to need to produce the fish pond. But I think it was an awful lot of stone, so we may need to go down the mines specifically for that. Let me just double check. Yes, tomorrow is Marnie's birthday, not today. Uh, oh, wrong place. Uh, let's have a look at you. I'm in the market for, a del for delicious corn. Hmm. Very well, Elliot. The marvelous man wants... Uh, Scallywax! The Marvelous Man wants delicious corn. The Marvelous Man shall get delicious corn. Let's uh, just double check that it doesn't need to be today. No, it does not. Okay, good. I can deliver the Marvelous Man the delicious corn tomorrow. All right, let's go. Oh, there was a marrow over there that I wouldn't mind going and chatting with. But uh, for now, let's just go and pop the... Uh, the Where are you? There we go. The pumpkin in there. Donk. Another bundle complete. What do we get? Another beehive. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Junamos. Diochen Vaurian. Right. While you're taking care of that, I'm going to go and deliver the purple mushroom. Which I believe is in the dyer's bundle. I could be wrong, though. Uh, let's see. Dye bundle. No, no, it isn't a dye bundle. Okay. Chef's bundle. No. Field research. Oh, it is field research. Okay. Well, uh, there you go, Demetrius. Hopefully we can get all of that done for you relatively. What? Relatively soon. That was that was weird. Uh, I seemed to uh, pause uh, in my tracks there. Well, while all of that's going down, I will have a quick chat with Maru. And then we will head on up to... If you have any extra metal lying around, I could always use it for one of my projects. I will keep this in mind, but only if you don't need it yourself. See, that's the part that, that's the problem. Is I do generally need all of the uh, metal myself. But I've got quite a lot of copper. I'll, I'll see if I can uh, swing some by your place the next time I'm in that area. Hey Robin, unfortunately I'm a bit too late to actually take care of that. Sadly, I did want to check what the prices were going to be on a fish pond. I feel that's going to be one of the, the next big things we need to take care of. I don't have many responsibilities, so I spend my time thinking. You have to understand your thoughts before you can control them. Well, there's a bit of wisdom there. It's a great gift, thank you. You're more than welcome. More than welcome. Hello, Demetrius. Hi, Abak. I'm always glad uh, when you come for a visit. Oh, that's lovely of you to say. Thank you. It's nice to have some company after all this lonely lab work. Wow, Demetrius is actually... Yeah, Demetrius is, is well up there. He's my, my second best friend in all of Saudi Valley. That is, that, that is kind of surprising how that's worked out. It's 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 wonderful the effect that strawberries can have on a friendship. It seems lots of strawberries, but uh, we are actually getting quite high in friendship with a lot of people. It's really really wonderful. I do need to put a lot more work uh, into uh, Rasmodius and Sebastian's relationship as well. And on that note, let's go and see if I can't spy Sebastian in here. I may need to just default to the saloon. Because I'm not going to be able to get into Sebastian's bedroom, where Sebastian spends an awful lot of time. No, not not yet today. Okay, well, interesting. Very interesting. Maybe out talking with Sam, I guess. I can always uh, swing by. Oh, sorry, Mara. Don't suppose you've seen your brother around, have you? Ah, there we are. Sebastian, my friend. Here you go. I really love this. How did you know? Ah, a little bird told me. A temporal bird. <sighs> what time is it? I think I slept too much last night. That is a, a problem, yes. It can certainly be a bit of an issue. 
Sleeping too much is, is in many ways worse than sleeping too little, in my opinion. Because you spend all of that time sleeping and you still feel tired. It's, it's like a massive betrayal. If you don't sleep enough and you feel tired, well, that, that's to be expected. But if you sleep too much and feel tired, it's like, why? <laughs> why, life? Why have you betrayed me in such a heinous way? I was specifically sleeping a lot because I was tired. You just made me more tired. That's like trying to fight bees with more bees. No, no, no. All that silly saying, fight fire with fire. No, do not do this. Well, I mean, unless you're talking about forest fire, in which case it can actually be uh, a controlled burn is, is, is quite wise. But come on now. There we go. I don't recommend that, you know, you've got a, got a kitchen fire going on. You just apply more fire. That is not going to work. Or at least I certainly would be surprised if it did. Uh, I don't recommend you for science this. Leave that to professionals. But if there are professionals out there that have the, the means to safely for science this, and I'm t literally speaking only about firefighters. If you are not a firefighter, then you are not a professional. I don't care if you're a pyromaniac. You're just a really enthusiastic, enthusiastic hobbyist at that point. No, no, no. But if a firefighter would like to uh, mention in the comments, well, actually, sometimes... Applying more fire is exactly what you need. Maybe some sort of interaction with how the fire would, would suddenly run out of oxygen a little bit faster. I don't know, but uh, yeah, unless, unless unless that for science came with extremely hefty credentials, not not accepting it. Right, let's go ahead and drop off a couple of these items. There we go. We got a little bit of extra wood. Um, not what I wanted to drop in there, though, of course. Uh, some more seeds as well. Now, I would say that the purple mushrooms would be considered a forage item, yes. Indeed, indeed they are. Uh, we do have a new beehive, though, so we need to place that down. And you can actually go into your proper spot, which will be up here. There we are. And soon, hopefully, we can uh, get the other one moved in as well. Uh, let's uh, drop off a couple of these items. We haven't got as much done around the farm today as I would have liked, I'm going to be honest. But it was... It was a surprisingly fast day, but a fun day. Mm. Okay, we may actually be looking. This may not be like uh, like uh, tea and, and, and coffee. It may actually take a long time to work through. Now, I think the the, the pond is going to require one or tether of those. We'll have to have to see. I don't I don't uh, remember exactly whether that's going to be the case. But you know, I've got a little bit of extra time. So how about we do a bit of fishing? From what I understand, the fishing you can do in the uh, forest farm is reasonably good. It's one of the better farms to have. I mean, obviously, the fish farm is better. And I believe that the beach farm may also be quite good. Really? I was just talking you up, Forest Farm, and you betray me like this by giving me such heinous trash. Can't even recycle it into anything useful. But uh, I, I actually think the Forest Farm has a... Uh, look, the game is trying to prove me wrong. But I think the Forest Farm has a better than, than average chance of getting a fish. Okay, the, the Forest Farm is really trying to show me up now. Why? What have I done? Oh my lord, maybe, maybe my sources are wrong. Maybe I am I'm talking nonsense. And the forest farm is actually one of the worst farms. But I thought there was a, a much better chance of actually getting fish on a forest farm. Like, uh, than, oh, well, actually, we needed that one. Than uh, some of the other farms where you've got a, a disproportionately high chance of getting trash. But maybe I just got that all wrong. And I, I was uh, totally uh, looking at my phone there. My phone flashed at me. And. Uh, I paid her a little bit too much attention just as I was waiting to put all this in. Wow. My lord. Is there anyone in Stardew Valley who actually likes Joja Cola? I, I, uh, because at this rate, apparently I'm going to be their most popular friend. They, they, but, uh, no. No. Friends don't let friends drink do Joja Cola. No. I refuse. I'm not even going to try and sell it. It is that bad. It belongs nowhere, but in it's, it's like nuclear waste. The best thing we can do is just bury it. Uh, right. Did we have? Let me look in here. I think we're gonna need a special fish chest. I'm strongly feeling that we need a special fish chest in the house, and the reason for said special fish chest is gonna be that I want to be able to place fish 
here it's for cooking, but specific meals rather than um rather than having it there for just being used for sashimi. I'll put things like the the snails, periwinkles, things like that in there. Things that I'm not I don't have a very specific use for, at least not right now. But most of my other fish that might have a very specific recipe that I'm saving up for, I'd rather keep that in that in that chest. So that's that's the way that we're going to be going forward. We actually still made a lot of money, despite the, the fact that it feels like I didn't do that much. Wow. That day raced by. My goodness. Oh, there we are. The, oh, okay. So, yes, the, the, it does work. Oh, fantastic. Another item to add to the uh, the bundles. The Junomo will be happy, and I'm, uh, that makes me happy. Let's check out tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be cloudy with gusts of wind throughout the day. Okay. And what about Welwick? Uh, it's somewhat annoyed today still. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, wait. They were perturbed. So that might have been the reason why I was getting all the trash. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Winter's almost here. Make sure you have enough hay stored up to feed your animals over the winter. When all the grass dies out, each silo can hold 240 pieces of hay. So make sure to do the math and figure out if you need to build any more. Well, if you need to build more at this point, you're probably in, in for a bit of a rough time. But uh, I mean, that is fair. Right, let's uh, pop these over here. That can go in there. And I do... Oh, wrong chest. I do you believe? Uh, we're not not quite up to the uh, correct amount yet, but but a die you go. There we are. Well done. I haven't been accosted by any Joja employees for days. Now you might put that down to me getting the bear in time, but I wouldn't put past those sneaky Joja employees to come into my bedroom, take me out of bed, and then say they found me on the ground beside my bed, and then charge me. The only reason this isn't happening. In my opinion, it's because Yoko is guarding me while I sleep. Well done, Yoko. Uh, we can't see your sister. There she is. Hello. What a da. There we are. And today, our uh, apple tree actually grew. I'm a little concerned, I'm not going to lie, that maybe those days where I've had the... Uh, where I've had that torch behind the apple tree may have scuppered my plans of getting all of the apples I'm going to need. I really hope that isn't the case, but we'll see. And every day I've got a bit of scything work to do. Just because of the we've got so much land here ready for uh ready for the, the grass to grow into and, and so much grass to propagate. Once you once you've got a, a nice carpet of grass, you can generate so much hay so quickly. It's actually really nice. There we go. We'll get a little bit over here as well. The lovely part about the the farm, the forest farm, is you have pretty much, I mean, you, you've got infinite uh, amounts of wood available because of a cinder sap, but you've got a lot of wood just on the farm that you can easily gather up just because, well, that doesn't look like it should be chopping, but okay, just because uh, you'll get a little bit of wood along with the hardwood whenever you, uh, whenever you gather there. Now, it is Marley's birthday, which means... Ultra important, we need to go into town. We need to go and buy the correct ingredients. Uh, I need to make Barney, uh, Marnie a cake. Barney, my lord. Uh, there we go. I'm not making a dinosaur cake. I refuse. I'm going to save you. I'm going to save you for the future. <laughs> oh, well. It's my own fault. Uh... Now, not that it really mattered, though, ultimately we won, and, and much like the wine, you know, all I would have been doing is winning harder. Still. Uh, it's a matter of pride. Oh, we've got the cranberries ready. I think, at this point, we are stockpiling enormous amounts of, uh, of produce. I think we probably need to start selling it. So I'm going to take whatever cranberries we get from today's uh, sale. Uh, from today's uh, growth, rather, and harvesting, we're going to go and, and trade into uh, into piers. And that'll hopefully pay for all of the seeds that we're going to need. But we don't have much left of, of autumn, sadly. So we do need to make a, a point of getting some uh, seeds that will grow within 10 days. Right. Uh, we got a couple that I can pop in there. 
go ahead and turn these ones. He actually ended up with a decent amount of gold and silver, in fact. I'm, I'm reasonably happy with this. Reasonably happy. Let's drop off the forage, of course. Uh, anything else that needs to go in there? No, not really. Um, I am going to drop off the wood. We are going to place the garbage over here. Are you having fun there, Yoko? Alright, let's go ahead and sell the cranberries. We will sell the blueberry and peach jelly. Uh, we will sell... Actually, the crayfish can go inside. I would like to know how much the sunflower honey is worth. Just for future reference, but... Well, as far as I'm aware, mead does not... I don't think it, it interacts with price in the same way that, that uh, other other products that you put in a keg do. I don't think it really maximizes the price in the same way. So, with that in mind, probably not going to make much mead. Uh, I've made a little bit for my own personal enjoyment, but uh, we're not going to go out of our way to make more. That egg... I... You know what? I think I'm going to change these chests around a little bit. This is going to be more of my equipment and odds and ends chest. And this will be my garage display chest. Someone mentioned in the comments that they actually have a specific chest that they keep purely, purely for uh, for managing their... Uh, uh, yeah, I'll keep those. Um, purely for managing their garage display um, items. And I think, uh, you know what, that's, that's a pretty solid idea. I like it. We're going to go with that. We're, we're going to go with that. Uh, I, yes, it's an entire chest where only nine things are ever going to be in it, but that's still nine things because they're not going to stack in any way. So, yeah, may as well. May as well, in my opinion. Hello, birds. Oh, I've got to get Marvelous Man in the corn, don't I? Uh, Borida, Abigail, it's still Borre. Abigail doesn't seem to be interested in talking right now. Oh, well, that makes me a little bit sad. It's starting to get cold outside. That means more people come into the shop to warm up. <laughs> I, I, look, okay. I've played Theme Hospital. I've 100% turned the heating up so that people buy more drinks. So I can't give you any, any sass for this. But I do feel that on some level, you know that that's not nice. <laughs> uh, gotta be careful. Careful who I, who I, uh tell off for doing things that I do or have done. Uh, grape starts would take 10 days at no point. But first and foremost, grab 10 sugar, 10 wheat flour, um, 10 oil, 10 rice. I know I'm spending a lot on this. 10 vinegar. Um, what I'm lacking is milk. Money may sell that. Ooh, I like that flooring. Maybe. Yeah, I think Marnie may sell that. Uh, we'll have to hope. Um, otherwise, I do have an egg that I can use to make uh, a cake. I think. I think. Oh, actually, the melon cake may may require an egg. I'll have to double check what we have available. But um, yeah, that'll do. That'll do for now. Thank you very much, Pierre. Let's go back and see. Oh, hi, Mommy. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm definitely not getting milk for money. Okay, so another plan. We need something that I can make without milk. I think we're probably going to need need eggs. I think that's what it's going to come down to. But on the plus side, I have now stocked my uh, fridge with food. This is good times. Got a little bit of a saloon tune going on. Um, let's grab some melons. Uh, yes. Let's grab all of those, in fact. Right, let's go and pop all of this into the fridge. I mean, it's a lot of room to take up in the fridge, but it's going to be worth it. Let's have a look. What can I make? What can I make? Um, I can make quite a few things. Fried mushrooms, for example. Uh, Autumn's Bounty. Can I even make... Oh, I haven't... I haven't learned the recipe! I was so full of 
certainty that I was going to be able to take care of this. But, in hindsight, no. I need omelettes. Can I make omelettes? I'm certain that I've got... I've got parsnips. Where are the omelettes? One egg, any... Oh, I need milk. No! <laughs> oh, I am... I am foiled. Foiled by my... My lack of, of Queen of Sauce. Where are you, Queen of Sauce, when we need you? I desperately require the recipe for a cake. If only I had a telephone, I could ring my mum. I'm certain she'd be able to tell me. But alas, I am completely cut off. Hmm. Well, that does actually beg the question. Why isn't there a telephone? <laughs> this one gets pretty lively at night. Uh, that it does. That it does. I need to, uh, At least I can take Marvis Man something. Today I'm baking cookies. They're shaped like little pumpkins. That's lovely. But I am extremely, extremely distraught of this idea that I'm not going to have anything to give. Ooh, actually, I need to pop into the saloon. Maybe, maybe we'll be saved. What's the odds? I'm fairly certain the money's okay with the farmer's lunch. If you've got an omelette, that's cool. Pizza. Mm, Friday. No, <laughs> the wrong type of egg food. <sighs> this is enough to, to make me buy a beer, honestly. Okay. Okay, not all is lost. We may yet be able to do something. What else can I get for Marnie? Oh. My lord, there's a lot of forage out here, but I don't have time. Uh, I do have time for you. Tonk. Now. Marvis Man? Oh. Okay, I guess I'm going to be around here for a little bit then. Since I'm already down here, I may as well grab everything, but... <sighs> I don't know what I could get for Marnie. It seems that everything I, I would need to get for Marnie is stuff that Marnie has. Or at least that's, that's what's gating my uh, ability to make what I think Marnie wants. We will see. We will see. Uh, let's go ahead and grab all... We actually got quite a lot of forage. I mean, there is that. You know, while I'm here, I'm gonna go and buy a bunch of a uh, bunch of iron ore from Clint. I know we spent a lot of money on this already, but uh, I need to. Hey, you mate. I'd probably get her a decent amount of ore if I went down the mines, but this has been slow lately. Well, let me fix that for you. How about I buy a good bit of iron ore? There we go. Good enough. Uh, maybe I could go a little bit further, but uh, I'm going to stop with, with that for now. I am almost broke. Maybe I shouldn't have bought 10 of all of the uh, the various <laughs> cooking ingredients. Uh, where is Marvis Man when we need him? Wait a second. The library. It's possible an author, like Elliot, would be uh, hanging out in the library of a Thursday. Let's go and peek in, shall we? Hello? No. No, Elliot. This is deeply distressing. I'm about to fail my quest with Elliot, and I'm about to not get Marnie a birthday present. These are two things that I, I just cannot abide by. We must struggle. We must resist this fate. We can turn it around, I'm sure. Perhaps I can... Ask Shane to send him a selfie. Shane, have you got any milk? I know Marnie usually deals with this. But I really, really need milk, mate. Can we make an exception? Trade you a cola for uh, some milk. Miss Penny is teaching me how to write in cursive. She has such pretty handwriting, and I'm sure you will too. <sighs> okay, well. Um... No, I don't think the mead is gonna particularly uh, is gonna be a particular use here. Is there anything else I can get? I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get anything from the saloon at this point. Good girls, heading back home. So it literally comes down to what I can make in here. Let's have a, a quick look. What can I make? Red cabbage can't make that. Only I have the milk. Um, don't have the cheese. Again, milk. Fried eel. I'm not really sure that would that would really jump out at Marnie. 
Um, oh, I can make a blueberry tart. I can totally make a blueberry tart. Um, roots platter. I could make a roots platter as well. If only I could make that, though. Uh, but we can't, so... All right. Blueberry tart it is. <laughs> the egg that we were saving. You're going to go to the very greatest of, uh, of fates. You're going to be a friendship egg. There we go. <laughs> In before. In before Marnie doesn't like it. And I am crushed. Cookies as well. Ooh, I need cookies for the children, but uh, no. Friendship egg. There we go. Let us hope that this is enough. I can't do anything if it is not. We have put all of our eggs into this one basket. And we must hope. Hope against hope. Uh, I would also very much like to uh, grab some wood. Nope, wrong one. Uh, tonk. Do we have gold quality? No. Well, we do now. Clam can be sold. Uh, the oyster, we can pop that into the, the fridge inside, actually. Let's get all these going. There we are. I suspect we're not going to have an opportunity to do any more um, uh, smelting today. Now, the clams can all go in there. There we are. Oh, you know what? I should have actually popped down and seen if I could grab any more. Uh... I'll drop that off. Uh, I should have seen if I could uh, pick up any more mushrooms and start cooking things for George. Uh, I do have a warp totem for the beach. Thank goodness. Right. Let's use this. I need to go see if I can chat with the Marvelous Man, who should be on his way home or in home right now. Hello, girls. Ha-ha! Marvelous Man! Here you go. Ah, the corn I requested. And it's a beautiful one, too. Thank you very much, Avic. Of course. One of the best for you. There we go. I, I hope that wasn't just Elliot being incredibly polite. Actually, let me just quickly chat with you outside of giving you the quest. Um... And that was actually in response to the fact that it was a gold star. Oh dear, a tiny crab appears to have made his home in my shirt pocket. That's a trouble with living on the beach. What do you mean the trouble? You're getting free pets. This is marvellous in my opinion. Right, let's make our way over to Marnie and deliver a birthday gift. I don't think it's going to be a loved gift, but uh, it's, it's, it's what I can do. I've gone to a great deal. I've probably gone to more effort making this blueberry tart than I have almost any of the other gifts. Oh, no! Of course, because it's also a shop. Uh, some days, some days are just rough. Oh, Sam. I don't want, don't want to give you any of these things. I mean, no, I didn't mean to ask you either. I think my dad might be coming back next year. I guess that's kind of soon. Weird. Yeah, yeah, I guess next year is kind of soon. <sighs> oh, well. That makes me so sad. Because as far as Marnie's concerned, I forgot her birthday now. Even though I have... I've put more effort into trying to get her a birthday gift than I think I've I've put into more more or less anyone else. Shopping just doesn't sound as fun as it used to. What's happening to me? You're changing. Hmm. And that isn't a bad thing. Uh, would, would you? <laughs> no, I'm not going to give a gift to someone that I made for someone else. That 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 seems wrong. I'll eat it myself. One well, of these days, I'll have to make you a wild mushroom stir fry. Ooh, that does actually sound delicious. Uh, you're just trying to cheer me up because you can see the glum look on my face because I am failing as a friend. It is actually incredibly appreciated, though. Thank you, Lee. Uh, Lee is so lovely. I can imagine another me in another life and another time 
she and I might might uh, get together. That that would be uh, uh that would be nice. Man, it it is it is gonna sound so weird, but uh, with each playthrough of this, I don't know the residual emotions. Why humans can pack bond with 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 pretty much anything, I don't know. Why that bonding seems so, so real, I also don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. I find it kind of endearing, but also it kind of gets in the way. Uh, well, let's go ahead and see. No, there's nothing else up there. Well, I feel like a very bad avac. But, uh, well, you know, th th this tune is helping. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. Everything is trying to cheer me up right now. I appreciate it, game. I needed this. How can you be sad with this tune playing in the background? I mean, you can still be sad, but its effects are great. Its effects are greatly diminished. Uh, I also want to move that away. <sighs> okay. Well, lots of things happened today. And I only got one of the really big things taken care of. But I suppose I didn't buy any seeds. Oh yes, I did. Did I? No, I did not. I thought about buying seeds. <laughs> and then I spent all my money on on trying to get money at uh, Again, some days. It's fine though. Look, okay, I panicked because I was worried I was going to miss my friend's birthday present. My friend is a bunch of pixels on the screen. I don't care. My brain doesn't make make a, make much of a difference between these things. Okay? When you think about it, all realities are, are virtual to your brain. It doesn't really care that the, the, some are more virtual than others. That's not how your brain works. Uh, plus two attack, actually. The fried mushroom uh, may actually be a good one to take down into the mines. Uh, plus the fence as well. And foraging. Hmm. Spaghetti mm, doesn't do any particular benefits, but uh, you know what? I am absolutely going to take a couple of these. And I will leave. Uh, let's, let's not leave the food in there, though. I think we're going to pop the food down into this uh, this chest down here. Then we can pick out of the foods what we want to, to use on the morrow. I do need to pop something into the um, keg, though. Mm. Sure, we're going to go with melon. Okay, well, it has certainly been a day. But we're going to wrap it up with a little bit of fishing. Oh, what a, what a fantastic... A track to uh, play for the fishing. I approve. There we are. Yeah, actually, on on that topic, that was that was definitely something that uh, was explored. The kind of it's a bit of a, philo a philosophical discussion, really, about uh, the nature of reality and virtual realities. Um, it was something that was explored uh, at length uh, in my AI degree. How how can you tell that one reality is real over another? Because realistically, your brain isn't directly interacting with anything. Your brain is simply interacting with... Uh, it's more of a consensus. What makes one reality real and uh, over another is agreement of enough people. Enough people say that this reality is real, and so you agree, as a group, a midnight car, that, that seems marvellous, that it is. And we got an anchor. It belongs to an ancient planet. Okay, well, fair enough. Uh, let's continue fishing. But, uh, yeah, when you think about it, your brain is just processing data that you, you glean through your senses. Obviously, if you stick on a headset and you're starting to play COD, you know that that's a virtual reality. That, that, that's a more virtual reality because it's like a reality, a virtual reality within a virtual reality. But you don't know that this one isn't virtual. So I, I think that perhaps explains a little bit of, of the, the genuine panic. The genuine panic. I was like, no, I'm going to miss my friend's birthday. Why is not going to care? The pixels aren't programmed to care. But I am programmed to care. My emotions attach to things. 
because they they have they are a facsimile of of uh, the reality that we've all all agreed upon. Let's see, one last fish for the night. Let us not end on a Joja cola. A perfect fish, even better. There we go. What what do we get? We got a small mouth bass. I need a large mouth bass, but uh, that'll do. I guess that will do. A midnight carp. I don't think we've got one of those. Let's have a look. I'm fairly certain we don't, in fact. How lovely. We got a new fish. That's actually really cool. Like, legitimately cool. There we are, then. Some more Joja Cola, unfortunately, to add to the ever-expanding pile of trash. Uh, the anchor, we don't need to we'll, uh, go ahead and sell that. Oh, we've got... Uh, some paper to pop in there, and a little bit of extra bait for my fishing rod as well. <sighs> okay, well, it could have been a better day, but it also could have been a much worse day. At the end of the day, Yoko still loves us no matter what. That's that's all that really matters. All right, no star, Yoko. Let's have a look. How much money did we make? Not a bad amount, actually. Not a bad amount. And the sunflower honey made 260. Okay. I don't yet know how much the mead will make, but we should find out, because I believe all mead is the same value. <sighs> and that is the end of another episode. I'm a little bit sad to see it end. But I hope you all enjoyed uh, the mistakes along the way and all, and I hope you'll be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone. Bye.